hello to everyone who watches this video. As usual, we are very glad to see you on our channel. We are heading for the next expedition in search of ancient artifacts. We have not yet reached our planned search location. On the way there we decided to stop for a few minutes. Get out of the car and take a look at these huge concrete pits. I do not know what this place is. Whatever it is, now it's a trash pit. We are heading to a flooded village, which is present on maps of the mid-19th century. Once a year, we have a chance to search there, because the water level drops significantly. The territory of that lake is not small. At our disposal for about two months, then the lake will again be filled with water. We have already arrived at the lake. A little time passed and my friend spotted a rather deep signal. He began to dig a viscous and moist soil and saw some object, clearly contrasting with the background of dark soil. It turned out to be a piece of aluminum. Aluminum, like copper, has a good signal, especially if the product is round. Let's continue to search. We have the first find from the category of metal plastic. We see the old cross, but it is rather thin. It is mutilated, bent, in general, the state is clearly not new. Let's clean it up. I lightly brushed this cross. Then I leveled it and saw a lot of inscriptions. I was surprised that this product was able to survive the extension process. Usually crosses break in half from this. This cross would be very beautiful if it were new, but the marshy soil left little chance. As it often happens, the signal was almost on the surface. And here you see the result. It is a coin. What kind of coin is it, I don't know yet. But I know that it is copper, which means the coin is old. After cleaning, I saw that it was one Copic of 1730. The coin is quite old, moreover, it is quite well preserved. Both sides look good. Great job. Let's continue to search. My friend is trying to wade through a stream, if you can call it that. This stream turned out to be quite deep. Only a few meters are left. But we see that the water has almost reached the top of the rubber boots. A little more, and he will pick up full boots of ice water. I would not want this to happen, but I can't help. It's too late. Oh no. He is trapped. Hell. I tried to dissuade him, but he was too self-confident. Real hell will begin for him now. It snows outside, and he managed to wet his feet in icy water. As they say, it's only his fault.
while my friend is running. Jumping and trying to get to me, I found another old coin that I want to show you now. This is one Copic of 1835. The state of this coin is also pretty good, but worse than the last Copic of 1730. God, it's good that we took spare shoes. For many years this happened for the first time. I foresaw this. I knew this would happen one day, and decided to take spare boots. If there were no spare shoes, I don't know what we would do. It would probably be over. You can imagine what it is to get wet at a temperature almost below zero. He says that he does not feel his legs. His legs turned to stones while he ran towards me. Только что выкручивали штаны, все вы выкручивали. Что, не одел? Нет. Почти. Блин, это капец. Короче, друзья, не знаю, чем это все окончится. We searched for about an hour, after that unpleasant incident. My friend showed his findings, and I showed mine. During this time we found some interesting coins. Among these coins there is even a silver coin. At the end of the expedition we got another silver coin, but this time much smaller. My friend had 20 kopecks, and this, apparently, 5 kopecks. By the way, we had never before found 5 kopeck silver coins. This, one might say, is the most unique find for today. It is 5 kopecks of 1891. As I said, the coin is quite small. I am very pleased that I was able to find this. I saw such coins only in pictures before. I will gladly put this in our collection. We will end today's expedition. As you can see, it has already darkened, which means it has become colder, respectively. All the finds that we have today, you can see on the shovel. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, click on the likes and write nice comments below. Click on the bell and receive receive notifications of new videos. Also do not forget to share this video on social networks and with friends. Do not go into the water in cold weather. Think about your health, be happy.